Yeah, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, this here is Tuesday, September 4th, 2018, feed blog number 2384. Hey, got some happy birthday shout outs. One going out to Tom Mal Malino and one to Carol Craig. Carol Craig used to be my teacher. She was my uh, substitute teacher back when I was in Monroe School District. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sing some happy birthday to you. So, hey, I heard it's birthday day. So, happy birthday, I'm going to say. You yeah, know, Tom and Carol, there's a one more year gone away. So, happy birthday to you today. I said, hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I'm going to say. You know, there's one more year gone away. So, happy birthday to you today. And many more. Yeah, cha, -cha, 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 -cha. Hey, you know, uh, got a happy friend anniversary to uh, Dana Jennings from Facebook. Dana Jennings, known you for a few more years than Facebook calls out, but back in high school, that's for sure. Anyway, and your brother Todd Jennings, not Jennings, Jennings. Anyway. So, happy friend anniversary to you, Dana. All right, now that that's knocked out, uh, I'm going to tell a little bit of a story about the uh, time I went fishing and I found the best fisherman I know. I mean, well, I don't know if he's the best fisherman I know, but he sure could pull him in. Name's Mark Graham. We were standing, we went fishing at, uh, it was a uh, um, Cub Scout, Boy Scout, uh, fishing trip and we went out to uh, Bush Wildlife and we were at um, Lake 33 I don't know why we ended up way over there but Mark he just so happened to get right in front of that spillway and he was pulling in fish right and left now for some reason I don't remember because I remember walking there ain't no way to walk from Lake 33 all the way to the uh, uh, clubhouse. Well, it wasn't really a clubhouse. The uh, the uh, um, ranger station at the time. But I kind of remember walking to the ranger station too. Unless they allowed us to fish in that smaller pond down the hill from the ranger station. Which was the old ranger station, the good one that had all the uh, exhibits inside. And the uh, stack, snack machines and the uh, uh, charms suckers. Not charms blow pops, but charm suckers and water balloons and all kinds of stuff like that. And we were, boy, we bought all kinds of stuff. But anyway, Mark Graham sitting over there. I don't know. He was pulling out fish right and left. Just one right after another. Bluegill, I believe. But he had a full stringer. I think he scored most fish. Uh, for the day and then there was uh, David Slaughterback which I believe is related to the Graham family uh, if not uh, I'm pretty sure he is but anyway he had yanked uh, he had he had caught a snag and you know you ever catch a snag him's a mighty hard fish to reel in well he yanked real hard on that rod and when he did the uh, line snapped and his about uh, one ounce weight one and a half ounce weight hit him square in the chest and knocked the air out of him and he was trying to walk up the street with the air knocked right out of him now you know okay now I, I said Mark Graham was one of the best fishermen I'd ever seen I saw my dad take a hook bear hook stick it down in the water and catch a bluegill on a bare hook now that was maybe a little bit better than what mark was doing i mean he only caught the one but he said there's then he quit fishing right then and there he says there's no challenge in this it's too it's going to be too boring for the day so he put away the rod and he just kind of handed it off said there you guys go fish 
kind of a Zebco 404 is what he was using, and my brother was using a, my mom had a 202, so it was a Zebco 202, uh, uh, Zebco 404, two Johnson reels, and Mark, I believe, was open using the first open face fishing rod I'd ever seen. But yeah, that was bush wildlife. That was back, way back, back, back. Mark made uh, Eagle Scout, and uh, I never made it that far. I did make my uh, Golden Arrow at um, Weeblows, but once it got into Boy Scouts, uh, it just wasn't the same. You know, my dad wasn't there to share the fun and excitement with us and well back then it wasn't uh an open or whatever you want to call it like it is today where it's open scouting and things were trying to be happening or intense and stuff that weren't supposed to be happening amongst males and not wasn't quite for me because, well, I wasn't the biggest person in the world to stand up for myself, and I wasn't having none of it. I did make sure that I didn't have any of it, but I just decided I didn't like scouting anymore, so I quit. And even though that was went back in the good old days when we got to go down to uh, Hidden Valley, or Lost Valley, uh, where Johnny Green had the... Uh, uh, had the uh, uh, lodge. That's what it was called. We had the lodge down there. Now, them were the good old days. Beulah, and taking the, uh, um, riding on the uh, uh, cable car, or not the cable car, but the, uh, um, what do they call that thing? Zip line. Riding the zip line across the valley. Uh, yeah, good times, good times down at Lost Valley. Not Lost Valley. Yeah, I think it was called Lost Valley. Anyway, it was uh, horrendous fun. It's a, um, whatchamacallit now, walk-through park. You can still go way back in there. You can't find the house or cornerstones or anything. You can find the creek, and if you know exactly where you're at on the creek, you might be able to find out where the uh, lodge used to be. But the lodge was on one side of the creek. There was a wood bridge, uh, two telephone poles ca- crossed with planks, and a uh, rope swing. And then there was the, uh, um, uh, what do they call that little thing? The stables. And the stables is where um, we used to get to camp in the stables also. I'll never forget the time I was when I was in Weebelows and we got to go down there. And there was a Girl Scout troop right there that was camping at the same time and well we got to share some bonfire time that was fun i'm telling you hoo 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 i remember gene and jan a couple of twins can't forget them anyway well get my mind off of that sort of thing anyway um let's see what's going on in st charles Newtown Concert Series, that's right. Uh, the Newtown Concert Series is going to run September 8th, which is four days from now, which will be Saturday. Uh, so you might go on down there and catch the Dogs of Society if you're a big Elton John fan because they are an Elton John tribute band. And then who else and what else is going on? Let's see. Well, the Temptations and the Four Tops are going to be coming into Lindenwoods uh, J. Schlager Center for the Arts, but that's going to set you back a pretty penny. Uh, probably about oh, how much? Forty-nine fifty to eighty-nine fifty just to go in and watch them. So I usually don't uh, um, advertise that sort of thing because, well. I like the freebies myself. Also, September uh, 7 through September 9 is going to be the uh, um, RV show down here at the uh, um, Family Arena, and that's a freebie to get into. The Van City Fall RV Show and Sales. 
That's right, September 7th through the 9th. And uh, so you might want to get down in there and see the latest leisure travel van products in person in St. Charles, Missouri, in the fall RV show and sales with Van City RV of St. Louis. The show runs from September 7th through the 9th. And then, how about the uh, Beale Street Concert Series? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beale Street Concert Series is in the uh, streets of St. Charles Complex, which is located off the end of uh, 5th Street, that is, South 5th. And uh, let's see, that's 1650 Beale Street. And free Beale Street Concert Series, the second Wednesday of each and every month, May through October. Beverages are provided by the wonderful restaurants of, at the streets of St. Charles. Bring a lawn chair and come and listen to... Who are we going to listen to? Come and listen to Marquise Knox. Marquise Knox. Okay, well, who's Marquise Knox? And what are they going to be doing? Hmm. Let's see who they are. What type of music does Marquise Knox do? They are a blues, blues city deli. Uh, they're a blues band. So, you'll catch Marquise Knox is a blues band. So, Come on over and listen to the blues music of Marquise Knox. And that's free to the public. Um, oh, shoot. What time does he take the stage? Uh, 8 p.m. 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's right. 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Free concerts. Boy, I tell you what. Last time I went to one, there was... Women's of all ages, and there was men's of all ages, and so there was kind of groups of different folks that could mingle with each other and enjoy the music. Ooh, there's a concert that I wouldn't mind going to see, but I can't afford to go see it, so uh, it's too bad because it is Scotty McCreary, and I do love Scotty McCreary. He was one of the uh, America's Got Talent, or no, the voice, not the voice. America's Got Talent, yeah. America's Got Talent winners. And uh, he sang one of my favorite songs, and I think I'll oblige you in singing it now. Song lyrics, just close them doors. There it is, Josh Turner, your man. Uh, and I'll go ahead and oblige you with it right now, because, well... Ain't no better time than the present to uh, give him a little tribute. I'm going to get a little sip of the water here. Before we do it, and here we go. Baby, lock them doors and turn the lights down low. Put some music on that's soft and slow. Baby, we ain't got no place to go. I hope you understand. I've been thinking about this all day long. Never felt a feeling quite this strong. I can't believe how much it turns me on just to be your man. There's no hurry, don't you worry, we can take our time. Come a little closer, let's go over what I have in mind. Ah, uh, baby, lock them doors and turn them lights down low. Put on some music, it's soft and slow. Baby, we ain't got no place to go. I hope you understand. I've been thinking about this all day long. Never felt a feeling quite as strong. I can't believe how much it turns me on. It's just to be your man. Ain't nobody ever loved nobody the way that I love you. 
Oh, we're alone now. You don't know how long I've wanted to. I lock them doors and turn the lights down low. Put some music on it soft and slow. Baby, we ain't got no place to go. I hope you understand. I've been thinking about this all day long. Never felt a feeling quite that strong. I can't believe how much it turns me on. Just to be your man. I said I can't believe how much it turns me on. Just to be your man. There you go. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see if we can't find another Scotty McCleary. Alright, I think I'm going to give this one a shot. I hope I do him justice on this. Yeah, somewhere down the south is swinging screen doors of sundress beauty on a high front porch. Knocking one back, baby, oh my lord, have mercy shooting out gravels in, oh my stars. She's a duke's a hazard in a daddy's car, amazing grace in a mason jar, have mercy. You go around the block, around that town, around the world, but there's nothing like a down-home girl. Ain't nothing ringing like a southern bell. Oh, those angels swinging it down the Bible bell. Well, brother, if a loving those sweet tea, blue, blue dream dreams working well, it can't be helped. I, I, and there ain't nothing ringing like a southern bell. Saturday night with the red lipstick, just like Scarlet, she's gone with the wind. Sunday morning with the honey biscuits, have mercy. You can't go round the block, round that town, round that world. But there's nothing like a down home girl. Ain't nothing like a ring, like a southern bell. Those angels sing down in Bible bell. Well, brother, if a loving those sweet tea blue jean dreams is wrong, well, I it can I can't help it. Ain't nothing ringing like a southern bell. Baby, swing low, make me high. I wanna catch your heart like a firefly. Holding on to you for the rest of my life. Have mercy. Ain't nothing ringing like a southern bell. Those angels singing down in the Bible bell. Well, brother, if a loving those sweet tea blue jean dreams is wrong, well, yeah, I can't help it. Ain't nothing ringing, no, nothing ringing like a southern bell. Oh, like a southern bell. Well, brother, if loving those sweet tea blue jean dreams is wrong, guess I'll be wrong with the, my southern bell. Alrighty, anyway, that does it. It looks like it's about time to do our portion of the program called hmm, uh, Our Daily Bread. That's what time it is. And so, with that in mind, I'm going to bring up odb.org and see that today's uh, devotion is called Beyond the Stars. And you know what's beyond the stars. Heaven's beyond the stars. The outermost atmosphere. And you know, they came up with something just a few years ago that said that there was something that happened in our atmosphere at one point in time called the Big Bang Theory. And that's how our universe was created. And well, if the memory serves me, um... The Bible told a story in Genesis that started out that there was nothing and God came around and he kind of said, boom, let there be light. And there was light. Out of nowhere, light appeared. Nothing had been there before and now there was. And then he made the earth, the heavens and the earth. 
It hadn't been there before, but then there it was. Kind of like a Big Bang Theory, huh? Them scientists are going to catch up to the Bible one of these days, aren't they? Anyway, I'll be reading Psalms 8, 1 through 9. And if you're keeping up with your Bible in the year, which I hope you are, you'll be reading Psalms 143 through 145. And so Psalms 8 will sound familiar to you because you've already read it. Anyway, and then you'll be reading 1 Corinthians 14, 21 through 40. So here we go, Psalm 8. One through nine. Well, I think if I get there. Oh, there we go. Psalms 8, 1 through 9. For the director of music, according to Giddeth, a psalm of David. And a psalm uh, is basically a song. Lord, oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have sent your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of the children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies. To silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place. What is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You put everything under their feet all flocks and herds, and the animals of the wild. The birds in the skies, and the fish in the seas, all these swim the path of the seas. O oh Lord, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. There you go, Psalms 1, 8, 1 through 9. Psalms 8, 1 through 9. All righty, got one more song for you, and that one would be, well, goodbye, my friends, it's a time to go. I, I said goodbye, my friends, it's a time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends, goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying, Hello, and how are you? And thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show. As always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' mighty name, amen. And come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here, and I hope you are too.